Hello, users, and do I have a story for you today? Um, just look at this. Look at this headline. More than a third of United States healthcare costs go to bureaucracy. Reuters Health. U.S. insurers and providers spent more than $800 million in 2017 on administration. Okay, now, you can read this article at your own, your own whim, you know, if you want. Um, just, I don't want to highlight this little, this little quote. That money could be spent for care if we had a Medicare for All program. That's a very important quote. This is, you know, a relatively short article. You can click the, uh, the study if you so choose. But, um, there was a good, uh, here, right here, this art, this, this, this paragraph kind of just lists the comparative, uh, prices of certain things from the Canadian system, which, by the way, is not perfect. There is no, it's not a perfect system. Medicare for all, the Bernard plan, would actually go further in cost-saving uh, mechanisms than the Canadian plan. So that is something to keep in mind. Um, but as you can see, these prices are ridiculous. Hospital administration was 933 versus 196. Can you imagine? Like, like okay. So I have a story that actually, when I read this uh, initially, I, you know, I read this initially yesterday, and um, I went to the uh, pharmacy to pick up medications for a family member. Um, because I'm, you know, the only one in the house at this moment that is willing to walk, you know, a mile and a half or so. Um, and so when we go to pick up, well, I go to pick up the medications, um, it turns out because of the new year, um, the insurance actually had to be like manually renewed, right? So it's like, oh, so now all of a sudden from having to spend $5 on medications, I'm forced to spend $45 on medications, which is ridiculous, right? And this is just for prescription fees. And this is just one small example, of course, but um, it's indicative of the whole system at large here. So I was like, okay, well, we kind of need the medications now, you know, the life-saving medication. So it's not like we can fuck around. Um, but then they had to go through and re-scan all the medications. And I had to sit there for 30 minutes when I you know, theoretically, they're right there, they're already processed, but because they knew that the insurance lapsed, they had to, like, rescan a bunch of shit, and I had to end up wasting half a fucking hour of my life, for no reason, mind you, and then I had to pay, like, the full 40-something dollars. So, not only, not only did I waste my money, which was, is now gone, it's been stolen by the pharmaceutical industry and the insurance industries, not only that, but I wasted my life, time, valuable time and effort, and not only that, but the workers at the pharmacy had to go a bunch and do a bunch of stupid bullshit. And sure, that's their job, quote unquote. But could you imagine a world where instead of like rescanning a bunch of shit so they're fitting into the system, you know, bureaucratically wasting fucking half an hour, they could have been filling other prescriptions. They could have been doing other things. And that's kind of the whole point with the Medicare for all thing is that like there's so much fucking money that is wasted on means testing. And this goes with things like food stamps, you know, like housing uh, assistance and stuff like that. Like, like there's so much money that is wasted on like filing paperwork. I don't know if anyone here has ever filed for food stamps. I've done that before. And it's so fucking annoying. You have to go, you have to file a bunch of paperwork. You have to sit in a room for seven fucking hours and wait to be called. And then you have to like get interviewed by someone who literally do looks like they don't want to be there. They look depressed. Every single time I've been into like a like a government building for like a social service of any kind is every worker there looks depressed because it's a depressing job. You have to like fucking like grill people and make sure that they're worth it. Like what what does that mean? Bernie Sanders in the last debate actually made a really good point where one of the biggest things and that differentiate that differentiates him from Elizabeth Warren for example is the fact that Elizabeth Warren wants to keep means testing and Bernie doesn't he wants to get rid of all that garbage and that is an important step that goes with Medicare for all versus say a public option like Mayo Pete is advocating for or god forbid I don't even know what Andrew Yang's health care plan is it's so fucking garbage oh we got to keep got to keep the, uh, you know, $1,000, you know, you gotta, gotta use that on healthcare costs, you know, it's so fucking, God, when he, when he came out as, like, 
like, oh yeah, I, I want the spirit of Medicare for all, but actually I don't have a healthcare plan. That was the funniest shit in the world. But like, just like, look at this, like read this article on your own. It is, it is, it is mind boggling. And, and of course we've known this for a while, we being people that pay attention to politics, but it's, I'm glad that there's actually studies being done that are confirming our suspicions is like the thing again is not only were Medicare for all cover everyone, but you can use that like 600 to 700 ish billion dollars, billion, not million, not thousand billion dollars is wasted on people filing paperwork that they don't need to be filing. Not only that, but imagine, imagine if all those people that are working in those like, you know, insurance companies and stuff, imagine if they were instead doing a job that just solidifies the, the, the profits of a bunch of like random douchebag assholes. What if they were using that time, effort and labor on, I don't know, building a like a, a railroad like light speed rail or i don't know placing solar panels or that kind of stuff this is why bernie's platform is so important it's an expansive green new deal that basically says like we need to take all of the wasteful bureaucracy and wasteful spending and we need to push it somewhere else to quote patrick from spongebob and we need to push that into things that are actually productive there's so many jobs that are just completely useless in society and there's so many things that we need to do and especially when it comes to health care because i don't know if y'all have ever been in a situation where you can't afford health care i've been in a situation where i'm sick i don't have insurance Oh well, you know, I just have to suffer for weeks on weeks on weeks on end. And it turns into years. It turns into years where it's like, oh, I've got medical problems. Oh, I've, I'm bleeding sometimes when I do certain things. Like, uh oh. Well, I wish I had insurance. I wish I could check it. Now, personally, I recently get, did get medical insurance for the first time since I was like 13. So I'm actually going through doctor stuff a lot. But, and it's really awesome. Now, I can't even, words cannot describe how anxiety. Uh, reducing it is just to know that if you did need help, if something were to actually happen, you would be okay. You would be safe. And that's like that feeling alone is like the, the mental toll that it takes to know that, you know, oh, if I walk to work and say like, you know, I get I trip over or like hurt my leg. Well, then what do I do? You know, I don't have a doctor. I can't afford an ambulance. You know, what if I get hit by a car? Well, I can't afford an ambulance. You know, what do I do? I, I lose my job. And then how do I pay for it? You know what I mean? Like, people don't understand how fucking this whole shit is a house of cards. The American economy is like playing Jenga, but you've been playing for like, you know, 40 years. So like everything's completely fucked up. And at any point it can just fall over. And especially when you combine that with the fact that most Americans actually can't even afford a $400 emergency cost. Like if, if their car broke down, they would lose their job. They would lose their house. They would lose everything. And that is horrifying. And so not only should like we actually, like we should do this in a moral, like, in a moral society, we should have everyone have health care, you know, but it's also, it's, it's, it's both moral and then practical, you know what I mean? Like, that's $600 billion that can just be used for literally anything else. Like, even if it was used to buy me fucking Doritos, that would be a more valuable fucking, like, contribution to, to my life and to most, like, if everyone got, like, free Amazon Prime delivered Doritos with that $600 billion, that would be more useful than what they're actually wasting it on right now. Like, just think about that. Think about, like, just, it's it's complete garbage. It's wasteful. And then people will go, oh, how are you going to pay for it? How are you going to pay for it? God, oh, I hate those people. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's a good story. I recommend reading into it a little bit more. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, to ask me things, and I will see you in the next video. Hopefully, if if not, then uh, go fuck yourself and die. Well, don't die, but uh, you should definitely go fuck yourself. Okay, bye.